Hey guys, welcome to today's full body HIIT workout. We're doing this from home. All you need is a couple of dumbbells. Sophie, that's very rude. Hey, welcome to today's at home workout. Today we're doing a full body workout. Sophie, I am trying to talk. Hey guys, welcome to today's at home workout. Today we're doing a full body workout, hit style. We've got 40 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds of rest. And we've got two circuits that we're gonna get through. So all you need is a couple of dumbbells. I'm gonna be using 10 pounds today through the entire workout. If you're new to this, you can do the whole workout just with body weight. All right, so grab your stuff and let's get started. All right, let's get started. We are starting off with a squat, so you're gonna need your dumbbells, feet or shoulder width apart, standing up nice and tall. We're gonna squat down, keeping the weight in the heels. You wanna drive through the heel as you push up. If you're doing this move body weighted, just place your hands on your hips or right behind your head. Make sure you push that booty back. You don't want those knees to ever pass in front of your toes. It's straight up and down. Keep those joints protected. All right, we've got our first 20 second rest here. Make sure you keep that body moving. We wanna keep our heart rate up for the entire workout, even during the rest period. And we're right back at it. We're going right down into our mountain climbers. So you want to make sure you have your wrists directly below your shoulders. Nice flat back and keep that core nice and tight. You want to stay nice and light on those feet and as you drive that knee forward into the chest really contract those abs and feel a good crunch awesome all right we're moving right into our single arm dumbbell swing so we're going to need to just grab one dumbbell we're going to do this first set using our right arm only. Here we go. All right, we're back into that squat motion. Keeping your arms straight, you want to use the momentum from your legs to swing that dumbbell just to eye level and back down. Remember to keep all of the weight in the heels. Drive up. Looking good, don't worry about that left arm. We're gonna make sure we get it in the next set. All right, great, let's take that 20 second rest. You should be nice and warm by now. We're gonna get back down on our mats and go into a T push up. All right, again, you wanna keep those wrists right below the shoulders, keep your core engaged, keep that back flat. As you push up, push through the palms, and as you twist, use those obliques to keep you nice and sturdy. If you find this move pretty challenging, you can totally just drop down to your knees. So do a push up from your knees and then pop up into a side plank from there. Awesome work, keep moving around. We've got a bit of a cardio burst coming up. We've got 40 seconds of high knees.
Here we go, staying nice and light on the feet, you wanna drive those knees up as high as you can. Is the first round of circuit number one we're just getting started let's head into circuit number one round two all right here we go same thing and we're going right back into our squats here now remember that we're not too concerned about reps here since we're going for time you want to get in as many reps as you can while maintaining proper form. So I typically range about 12 to 15 reps at the pace that I'm going here. Alright, 20 second rest here and then we're getting down on our mats again for round two of mountain climbers. Alright, get your butt down there and let's do this. Drive that knee up, keep those abs nice and tight. get a little stretch in here while I can. We've got our single arm dumbbell swing coming up next and this time we're going to be working the left side so grab that dumbbell with your left hand and let's get ready to go here. Make sure you're not leaning too far forward with this one. You want to make sure as you squat up and down, you're keeping that posture nice and tall through the whole movement. Awesome job. Now we've evened out both sides. You should definitely be feeling this in the arms. Okay, we're getting ready to go into our next round of T push ups. If you did these on your knees next time, I'm just going to throw it out there. Try and do one or two in full push up position. Just try it. second rest very good so we've got one more here we've got our cardio blast high knees on the spot for 40 seconds and the good news is you get a break after that let's do this
And that is it for round two. We are a quarter of the way done. Now get out of here, go get some water. We've got a two minute rest. All right, 10 second countdown. Get ready to jump into our next round here. Circuit number one, round number three. Grab those dumbbells. We're starting right back from our squats. And rest. All right, 20 seconds here. I don't know about you, but I am definitely starting to feel the burn in the quads from all these squats. Okay, we're getting right into our third set of mountain climbers. Let's get down there and drive that knee forward. Let's go. Awesome. All right, let's grab a dumbbell. I know you're feeling this. Come on, we gotta push through. Grab that dumbbell with your right hand. We're doing the right side front dumbbell swing, round number three. All right, get ready. Let's go. All right, that's it, nice work. Drop that dumbbell, we're gonna get back down on our mats for our third round of T push-ups. All 
All right, this time I actually want you to count your reps and then I want you to comment below, let me know how many push-ups you got in in set number three. And that's gonna be nine reps for me. Not too shabby, would have liked to hit 10. Let me know how many you hit in the comments section below. Next up, we've got our third round of high knees. We're not slowing down yet, keep that heart rate going. Drive those knees up at nice and high. Are you ready? Let's go. done oh man it is getting hot in here you know it's really nice to have these big open windows but this place gets hot all right we're going into round number four that's right that is our last round for circuit number one which means we are almost halfway done Double check that form. You might be getting tired, but you don't want to let your form suffer. Keep those knees behind the toes. Stay nice and upright and keep your core nice and strong. Come on guys, this is the last round for circuit number one. All right, 20 second rest here. Enjoy it while you can. We've got our last round of mountain climbers coming up. Who doesn't love more mountain climbers? Woohoo! You know, I actually had a client tell me once that she would way rather do burpees than mountain climbers. I thought that was crazy. But hey, if you wanna do burpees, you go right ahead. wrap on mountain climbers. I promise you don't have to do any more mountain climbers for the rest of this workout. <laughs> All right, let's get into that single arm swing. For this last round, we're doing the left side. Get ready. There you go, well deserved 20 second rest. Don't worry, we're so close to getting another two minute break. Just hang in there. Circuit number two, we're gonna switch up the exercises. 
For now, we're gonna get back down on our mats and we're doing our T push-ups last round. Great work guys. Good news is we just have one more exercise. So we've got high knees, 40 more seconds, and then you get a nice long water break. And by long, I mean two minutes. We're almost there, don't slow down now. Keep those feet moving and keep those knees up nice and high. And rest, well done. You are now halfway through your workout. You've got two minutes. Grab some water, catch your breath, send a tweet, check your Instagram, whatever you need to do. Just make sure you get your butt back here in two minutes for the second half of today's workout. Alright, this is your 10 second countdown. Got some new exercises for you for circuit number two. Aren't you excited? Grab your dumbbells, we're starting with a bent over row. Alright, so we're bending over from the waist here, keeping a nice flat back, keeping your tummy pulled in, palms are facing back, you're bending your elbows at about 90 degrees at the top, and you're gonna get a nice squeeze through the shoulder blades. If you want to try this without weights, you can still do this move. You just want to use your own body weight as resistance. So flex your palms, resist the arms being pulled back, and at the top, really squeeze in between the shoulder blades. So next up, we have a single leg deadlift. You're just gonna need one dumbbell here. We're gonna work on that balance. So grabbing the weight with your right hand, you're gonna kick one leg back, keep your standing leg nice and straight, and you're gonna bring that dumbbell to your left toe.
Keep that back leg out nice and high, as high as you can, and get a nice stretch through that standing hamstring. This exercise is sneaky. It feels like a good stretch, but you're definitely going to feel this tomorrow morning. Bum, bum, bum. Hey! That's it. Okay, next up, we're gonna go into a walking plank. So we're gonna be getting down on our mats. You're gonna set this up in plank position so your elbows need to be directly below your shoulders. You're creating a nice straight line with your body, nice tight core, and you're pushing up, replacing your elbow with the palm of your hand. Now you really want to make sure that you're not rocking back and forth like I am here. You want to really engage your core so that you're good and strong and pushing straight up and down. Now we're leading with the right hand this round. If you find this really challenging, try it like this. Try it from a knee position, but challenge yourself. Try and work from a full push-up position here. Nice work, that is a tough one. I think that's probably one of my least favorite exercises, but I do it anyways, because it really works to build upper body strength and core strength as well. All right, grab those dumbbells. Next up, we have a reverse lunge. Here we go, we're gonna lunge back and then you're gonna drive that knee up. All right, so just like a squat, make sure that front knee never crosses over that front toe. We're gonna do the right leg for this first set, and you betcha, we're gonna do the left on the next one. When you lunge up, make sure that you're driving up through that front heel. That's where all of your weight should be distributed. And you wanna stay nice and upright with a good, strong core, as always. Okay, up next we're doing a push press, so you're gonna hold on to those dumbbells. More squats, yay! All right, so you're gonna hold on to those weights. We're gonna squat right down, drive up through the heels, and you're gonna push those dumbbells straight up overhead, keeping your palms facing in the whole time. Double check that form, core is engaged, weights in the heels, and knees behind the toes. Great work, all right, that was round number one of circuit two. So let's take our 20 seconds here and then we're gonna jump right into round number two. Here we go, grab those dumbbells. And right back into that bent over row, squeezing the shoulder blades. This is a great way to strengthen and sculpt that upper back. Okay, doing good, looking good. It is hot in this apartment today, holy. All right, up next we've got that single leg deadlift. Switching to the other side, weights in our left hand. We're gonna be tipping forward, bringing that weight to the right toe. Here we go.
And there we go. Okay, resting up, we're gonna move into our walking plank next. So we're getting back down on our mats. This time we're gonna be leading with the left hand. Get a nice stretch while we're down here. All right, so ready? 40 seconds here, let's go. Check that form, your abs should be tight, back should be flat, and you don't want those hips swinging too far side to side. Keep everything nice and tight, straight up and down. Yes, all right, those are killer. Good work on getting them done. We're gonna move into our lunge next, so we're gonna need both those weights. And here we go, lunging back, drive that knee up, keep the weight pushing up through that front heel. Nice work. rest okay we're moving right into our push press we're gonna need both of those dumbbells again I know you're getting tired we're gonna push through we've got a two-minute break coming up right after this all right so stay strong stay focused and let's go Come on, we're almost three quarters of the way done this workout. You can do it. Right after this rest, you're only gonna have two sets left, so keep going. There we go. All right, two minute break here. Grab some water and I'll see you shortly. Alright, we are getting ready to go here. K 
countdown is on. This is the last two rounds. That's only 10 more minutes, guys. Let's do this. Ready? Standing rows. Nice work. Okay, we've got that single leg deadlift coming up. We're going back to weight in the right hand, tipping forward to the left toe. All right, round three, guys. Looking good. And rest. Okay, coming up, we've got that amazing walking plank. I know how much you're loving it, probably as much as I am. So let's get down on our mats and get through this. We've only got two more rounds of this amazing exercise. Ready? Let's go. No matter how much I hate it, I can't deny that it works. This is really great for sculpting out the shoulders and really increasing strength in the core. So keep pushing through. All right. There we go. Push it back, stretch it out. We're getting back up. We're gonna do another set of lunges here. Again, we're switching sides. Grab your weights and get ready. All right, lunging back, right foot forward. Drive up through that heel. As you drive that knee up, keep your core nice and tight. that one's done. All right, getting ready to go into our third round of push press. Keep those dumbbells in hand and get ready to squat nice and low. Here we go. As you get tired here, you're really going to want to rely on the power of the legs to push up and drive those weights straight overhead. Awesome job. Okay guys, you are killing it. This is our last round. That means we just have five more exercises 
to get through. We can do it, we're almost there. Grab those weights. Let's get back into that standing row position. Ready? Here we go. for standing rows. Nice work. And apparently by this point I'm quite tired because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I should be getting ready to do my single leg deadlift. Oh, there I just figured it out. Grab one of those dumbbells Right leg on the ground, left leg's kicking back. Last time here. And that is a wrap for single leg deadlifts. Coming up next, last round of the walking planks. And here we go. I know you guys are tired, you're running low on energy, but we are so close to the finish line, so give it all you got and let's finish this thing strong. Don't give up now, you are so close. And yes, there you have it. We are done with those for today. Okay, just two more exercises left, guys. Seriously, we are so close. I know you can finish this thing. Grab those weights and let's do that last set of lunges. Amazing. Hold on to those weights. This is your last exercise. Guys, you only have 40 seconds of work left. That's nothing. All right, set yourself up for our last exercise, push press. Let's do this.
All right, awesome work guys. If you like that workout, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I recommend doing this workout two to three times throughout the week. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll have a brand new workout for you to try next week. So go get some healthy food, drink lots of water, don't forget to stretch, and I'll see you at the next one. How's that even comfortable? What are you, what are you doing? Was that comfy?